Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. Probably the craziest cheating story ever. Okay, so I've been watching the subreddit for a while and decided that I'd tell one of my craziest stories. This is when I was a bit younger, as I'm in my 30s now. So my ex-girlfriend and I were going through some stuff, constantly arguing, etc. We had a big argument, so she told me I should go to my mom's to give her some space. So for time frame, this was the year the OG Xbox Connect came out. And we used to play Connect Adventures all the time. So I left, and when I came back she was acting weird. I came back earlier than expected, and she acted like she wasn't home and fake met up with me. She looked so fishy and guilty. I got home and did some looking around the apartment. I found a hat that wasn't mine and belonged to a former associate. I asked him if he was in my place, which of course he denied. She denied it vehemently. So we were arguing about it for a few days, and when she was away one day afterwards, something clicked. The Kinect. So for people who don't know, or non-Xbox people, when you're playing the Kinect Adventures game, it takes photos of you while playing. So I go to the photos taken in the game. Lo and behold, boom. Pictures of her and him, playing together side by side, having a grand old time. GG. So when she got back from doing whatever, I'm like, hey, that's one another truth. She denied it, and I showed her the pictures of them together. She just starts crying. She claims she stopped seeing him, but I found out later on down the line, they never did, and a whole other situation occurred. But yeah, that's how I found out my ex was cheating. Our first reaction comes from Realistic2-9365. She brought him into the house you share? That's beyond betrayal, but I'm glad you found the photos. Dumb people belong together. The OP replies, yeah, crazy part is when we broke up, we had mutual friends, and one told me, yo, bro, she got some bum version of you. All he does is just play PlayStation, though. It doesn't work or anything. He was just using her, and I was just laughing my butt off. On to the next story. My husband got a lady pregnant. My husband, 25, and I, 24, have been together since we were 15 and 16. We recently had a beta girl, two months old. After two years of trying, a couple days ago, I noticed my husband acting weird, which led me to checking his phone. Where I discovered this woman, who is 35 and has two other kids, texting his phone saying, I know you're with her, but is this going to be our life when our child is born? There weren't any other text messages because he had deleted it. The next day, I confronted him, and he tried denying it at first, but then confessed to me, that he had cheated on me with this lady, and when he tried breaking things off, she told him that she was pregnant. He started crying, asking for forgiveness, and saying how he tried asking her to abort, but that she didn't want to, and that the lady knows he has a wife and a newborn. He says he wants to be with me, but when his other child is born, he will be giving the lady money for the child and visiting from time to time. I am devastated because I thought now that we finally had our baby of years of trying, we were going to be happier than ever, and I feel like my world came crashing down. He asked me to please forgive him, and although I'm trying, now when I look at him, I don't feel anything anymore. I feel like he ruined what could have been. Our first response comes from Kabi82. You need to file for child support first. Door files first, gets the lion's share. Married women are always so surprised to find out that their pre-existing kid, your kids, get way less than a new kid. Even if you try to reconcile, get on the books before her. The next thought comes from Separate Life, 4570. Heck yes, and he intends to go visit her for the baby? B.S. Her message didn't sound like it was over, and he doesn't deserve the trust that would take to allow. So sorry, OP. This club sucks, but you're not alone, and there are plenty of people here to support and direct you if you feel lost or overwhelmed. Edited to add paternity test needed. Our next bit of advice from Little Nibble. So let's take inventory. 1. He cheated on you while you were pregnant. 2. He, more than likely, cheated on you after having your baby. 3. He didn't use protection and put your health at risk. 4. He didn't use protection and put your baby's health at risk. 5. He knocked up his side piece. 6. He's now going to be a father to her child. 7. He's ensured with his selfishness and stupidity that his side piece will be a constant in your life. 8. Your family income will now have to be shared to support his child. 9. Your family time will now have to be shared to be part of this child's life. 10. You will never be able to trust him when he goes to her home alone, and or you'll have to be in her presence to ensure he doesn't dick her down again. 11. He's invited this woman into your lives and she doesn't sound like she's willing to be quiet about where she thinks she and their child should be in his life. 
12. If you stay and have more kids with him, or even if you don't have more, and this child is introduced in the future, you'll have people always doing the math and knowing what happened. 13. He didn't freely admit to the affair, meaning if he did in fact try to break it off like he said, he would have taken it to his grave. 14. He didn't freely admit to the baby, so he would have been still in contact with her, even if not together, and would have taken money and time from your family for this new child, without ever telling you. How long was this affair? Does he have proof of trying to cut it off? What is he willing to do to prove he even deserves you and your child to stay? Is this child going to have his last name? Is he going to be in the delivery room? I would want to know all these answers before even thinking about reconciliation. You don't have to give him an answer now. You take all the time you need to absorb and process all this. Your child is your priority. Next story. If they cheat with you, it is only a matter of time before they cheat on you. So this goes out to all the affair partners who decided to stick it out with the person they cheated with after finding out the person was married or in a committed relationship. Do you think you are so special that he or she will remain faithful and committed to you? Well, I have some bad news for you all. If he or she was willing to cheat with you and eventually left their former partner for you, it is only a matter of time before they become bored with you or find you sexually incomparable and end up cheating on you with someone else. As the saying goes, if they're willing to cheat with you, it is only a matter of time before they will be willing to cheat on you when you're no longer living up to their expectations. Kabbalist writes, thanks, 100%. Friends, who we no longer engage with, were affair partners. The affair partner, she was couch surfing with a married couple as her fiancé had broken up with her because of the man in this married couple. His wife was unaware and just assumed she was in a bad place. Lo and behold, they conducted their affair while she's in the same house. The marriage implodes and the affair partner is found out by the wife. A affair partner and the now divorced man marry. We were friends with them as we bought the lie that it was a miserable marriage, taking solace, yada yada. Anyway, husband makes a move on my partner when we stay over when she's drunk. Goes to show, they never change. We did not speak to them anymore and it made my partner swear off alcohol entirely. Remorse, accountability, and a whole 180 in how she handles social situations. Realized he wasn't being friendly, but predatory. The next chime in from 0220-1970A. My ex chosen a very partner who has cheated on two women after making kids with both. As she is a serial cheater herself, I am waiting to see who cheats first. I am now safely outside the blast radius, so I'm just an amused observer. Next thought from As Above, So Below 4. I have found in my experience, he switched whenever it got boring. It was exciting and new, and even with the longer one I think he enjoyed the building up, but once it levels off and they are expecting more from him and expecting it to become more serious, less fun per se, he moved on. He already had a wife at home to be bored of, so if he had left me, I'm absolutely sure he would have hit the plateau and moved on from them too. Either way I left him, so what he does now is on him. But his longest affair partner tried to come to me later about how he hurt her just like he did me and promised her things. I said, sweetie, we were married, had three kids, one that we got pregnant with while you were seeing him. We are not the same. Do not compare your hurt to mine because you knew about me and the kids. I watched your daughter for F's sake. You know what you were getting into and what he was going to do to his family. You literally chose this. I did not. Two and a half years and you didn't get the picture. He was never going to leave unless I made him. You this to say, I was fuming. Next chime in from C Advertising 2244. If this is true, why do so many of us choose to stay with our wayward spouse? By this train of thought, they will cheat on us again too, because we were nothing special that they had to hold on to, right? Throw away, the bunch of numbers, says, I've been cheated on in two consecutive relationships. Both times I gave her a second chance, both times I did it again. Never give a cheater a second chance. Anecdotal, but I have high confidence that it is true. G. Van Winkle, 1976, chimes in. Unfortunately, this is probably true. They get better at hiding it. If he chose to stay with a cheater, then be prepared to be cheated on again. Why wouldn't they? They did it once, and you took them back, and they got a free pass. So why not try for round two? My soon-to-be ex-wife cheated on me in 2019. We reconciled, and I just basically sucked it up and let her gaslight me, and made me think it was my fault. Here we are in 2022 and going to a divorce because she did it again. Value yourself more than to stay with a partner who cheats. Going to the heartache two times is so much worse. One more from Doofy LeBoucheron. 100% true. I don't think my dad ever had a break between two of his girlfriends. 
He definitely deceived each one of them, and changed each time the actual girlfriend discovered the treason. Now, he is 74 and alone. His physique isn't what it used to be. Time gives him what he deserves. On to the next story. Deciding if I should stay or not. Rant. It's difficult to post this. I'm afraid to get judged by people for wanting to work out my marriage. I'm split down the middle. It's been a month since I've learned of my husband's infidelity. It's not easy. I struggle to sleep now thinking about what he did. When he is with me, it's easy to forget. He's really great. Kind, funny, thoughtful. He asked for a second chance. A clean slate. He's called me every day while he's at work. Texts me to check on me. We have long talks almost daily. He leaves his watch at home in case I want to read his texts. He has given me access to his phone so I can look whenever I want. He has made an effort to take the family out to dinner or out of the house every few days. He has been going to therapy. We have both been going to marriage counseling. Is this real change? I'm afraid to look like a fool. I've told him this. The part of me that is angry ever so often remembers what he did to me. How he lied. How he hid things from me. I consulted with several divorce attorneys in case I changed my mind. It's not easy staying. Will it be easier to leave? Do I want to find out? People are quick to tell me to just leave and to not stay for our daughter. But it's different when you're here in this position. We were happy. Everything was perfect. I asked myself if I can live with what's happened and move forward, or leave and wonder what our life would have been together. I don't know what I'll end up deciding. I'll give it a bit more time. A first thought from Yelling Banana Bear. I'm in that position. Everything is out in the open, but I kicked my husband out of the house. We still see him all the time. He is being a better dad. He is improving. He's going to family counseling with her kids. We have four kids, and kids 16 years. He wants me back. Desperately. But what he did is just so atrocious. I don't want to be with someone who is capable of that. He started seeing someone while I was pregnant with our fourth. He started cheating on me, and got her pregnant, while I was recovering from my fourth C-section. He took her on work trips. He took her to Hawaii. He moved her into a new rental house. He didn't tell me until I discovered evidence and forced it out of him. His new baby is now a couple of months old. They chose together to keep the baby. It doesn't matter how full of remorse he is, and he has been great, but I still can't take him back. He's been an angel, but I know I will never truly be happy if I do. If I take him back, I will always have that in the back of my head. Not only that, but he will be in the baby's life forever. I know the baby is innocent, but she's a reminder of his behavior. It's too much. I'd rather be alone than to be with someone who is capable of what he did. A next thought from Cat Solo. People who are quick to say leave often have zero idea what is involved in dissolving a marriage. I'm a fan of, when in doubt, at present, do nothing. You can always act later. That said, you said this, a clean slate. I want to take on that very simple phrase, which isn't so simple. It's anything but. Your husband does not get to have a clean slate. It's just way too easy for those who have cheated to want to jump past the achy consequential parts of the misdeeds and just go on like it's all okay. It's not okay. You have been betrayed, lied to, cheated on, and that doesn't just go away because someone conveniently has decided to pick you to stay with. So let's start with this. The emotional upheaval you are presently feeling, does that feel like a clean slate to you? I would suspect not. What about if you get bouts of feeling this way six months from now? Does that feel like a clean slate to you? Again, I suspect not. To be brutally frank, you are new to this by infidelity standards. He is trying, but people are really good at trying and saying all the right things in the short term. But what the long term? What about if the slate doesn't feel clean for you for quite a while? Will he get fed up with acting like a good husband and just turn on you? Demanding of you to just get over it? Read around these forums because this is very common, especially by the types of cheating carpet sweeper clean slate types who do not see instant results to their good spouse efforts. They do not like feeling bad or made to feel bad for the past misdeeds. In reality, slates do not get washed clean, but instead the stains fade with time. Time that may see it just turn to dust or become faded and not hurt so much. And never, ever becomes clean because you know what was there before I got crapped on. I urge you to really sit back and evaluate what he means by clean slate. Because if he means he gets to sweep all his misdeeds and you, on the other hand, are continuing to pay emotionally for what he did to you, then there's nothing clean about it.